Hey guys, Radio Garage, we're back on the bench. Got a Lincoln 2 Plus here sent in from Joe in Connecticut. And it's nice to finally get to work with you, Joe. I know you've been following the channel for a long time, do appreciate it. So basically, with this one, uh, a little bit different. Joe was having a complaint about the receive audio on this Lincoln. And I didn't find anything wrong with it. it sounded like a normal Lincoln to me. But uh, I have heard from other people, they have complained about the way the receive sounds out of the Lincolns. Okay, it does not sound like a uh, 148 uh, Cobra, a unit in Grand XL. It does have a different sound than something like that. So uh, don't expect that. Also too, if you are like a, a big time ham guy, and you have high-end, you know, Yesu or Icom or Kenwood equipment, and then you're coming down to something like this, uh, that could also be a reason that you may think that the receive has a problem when it actually does not. So, like you said, uh, you know, I think you had already sent it out to President once before or something. They didn't find anything wrong. I didn't find anything wrong with it. But I did go through, like we talked about, we thought maybe we could enhance some of the audio characteristics with doing the wideband on the transmit and the receive, so we opened it up. All right, and I'm gonna show you uh, just what it's doing on the uh, function generator here is what we're gonna use to show you how it's doing as far as receiving, or um, I'm sorry, for the transmit side. This thing is really, really picked up uh, um, some low, the low end, uh, tr improved tremendously. So now, if I uh, first let me let me show you the audio first that you hear it uh, on receive. So here's my George. Okay, uh, 27205 is going to go into your radio here. Let's just see if we could clarify it in. It's on sideband. Audio. Audio one two one two three four five one two three four five audio check audio check one two three four five Okay, don't hear a problem on this end. Now let me let you hear it on uh, transmit. And I have let's see the volume turned down, you turn the volume up. Then I'm gonna let you hear it on the other monitor radio. One two, one two, one two, three four five. One two, three four five. Uh, this one's a little bit off. I'll let you hear it better on the ICOM. One two, one two, one two, three four five. All right, now we can hear it on here. One, two, three, four, five. Now this has a little bit different receiver in it. Sounds real good. One, two, three, four, five. You can hear those extra, that extra frequency range. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go to AM. There is AM. Put this on AM. Okay. Turn that down. Turn the volume down. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Audio check, audio check. One, two, three. Alright, that's with the RF power all the way down. I'm gonna turn the RF power up. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Audio check, audio check. Here's with the echo. One, two, one, 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 two, three, four, five. Audio check. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Can I get a radio check? Alrighty. So there's all the transmit stuff, all the receive. Uh, sounds really, really good. I really like the way these these widen out when you do the mods on these. Uh, they are they are very limited from the factory with the frequency uh, response. All right, so let's check it out now on the scope. I'll show you. 
just how low this thing transmits. Something a little different I'm going to show here. Uh, I got to get this over to here. Okay. Start at start at 1k. There's 1k. Get off of the monitor channel. I'm going to go down to just uh I'll just go to that channel for now. Okay, and turn the RF power down a little bit. We don't need RF power up all the way. And let me get this scope set up. All right. Turn this up. So now I got a 1K tone. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that down here. I'm gonna um, put the audio into it. Okay, there's your waveform. Now I'm going to dial this 1.6, 1.7, that's 2K. Alright, sorry, I, had the mic, I didn't have the mic gained up all the way. Um, there's 2.5, still, and then uh, about 3. 3.3, 3.4, it starts dropping out. Okay, and then um, going low, let's see, that's 800, 7, 6, 5, 4, 300. Still perfect. 200. This is very low now. This is a Cobra, a Cobra 148 or something like that will not do this stock. So this is where this thing's really starting to shine. Uh, that's a hundred hertz right there. Ninety. Okay. Eighty. Seventy. Sixty. It finally falls out at sixty. Okay. And you can see. You can see that's your, the frequency up here. We're at uh, ninety hertz. And I actually went down to 60. I'll show you 60s. That's 80, 70, 60. And that's where it started to fall out. Okay. So you're not going to have any problems um, <clears throat> passing, passing your voice frequencies at all. So that is going to sound really, really good over the air. If you ever get a chance to do a gate or something like that, let me know. Uh, I know I did pretty much the same setup for Dallas down there uh, in Tennessee, and uh, I've heard his Lincoln too over the air sounds great. So yeah, these things come out really good when you uh, when you go through them like this. All right, so that's all done. All the audio testing and transmit stuff is done. Just wanted to show you that it is uh, it's working really well. And let me just put it on. The uh, spectrum analyzer, well, um, I'm going to get the RF generator hooked up. I'll let you show, I'll show you the receive and I'll show you the spectrum analyzer quick and that's that's going to be it. Alright, actually uh, while this is loading here, I just turned that on. I'm going to show you the carrier levels. I forgot to show you that. So let me just show you because I know you're going to be running an amplifier. Let me show you where I have your RF power all the way down. 50 watt slug on the left. So there's your watt and a half, okay, hopefully you can see that. All the way up is, looks like 11, 12, 13, looks like 13 all the way up. Show you, turn my gain up all the way, show you peak power. Audio, that's the 50 in the corner with ease. Do it one more time. Audio. One, two, three. Not a problem. Uh, let's show you. <clears throat> that's AM, of course. I'll show you sideband. Okay, lower sideband. Audio. Uh, now this had to get turned down on sideband. This, these things from the factory are are uh, actually really uh, 
I, I don't, what, what should I say? Out of tune on sideband. Audio, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's your sideband. All right, I forgot to show you what it looked like on sideband on this scope, so here it is. Okay, there's a, a two-tone signal. Sideband right there, you can see. So, awesome there. All right, get that unplugged. And then <clears throat> I will get the spectrum analyzer hooked up here quick. Um, it's gonna be clean. Not gonna have any problems. sure I go over this for you. Okay, let me get my microphone. Switch power all the way up. <clears throat> okay, span 5 megahertz. I'm going to get this on channel 20. Okay. Nothing there. 15, nothing there, 30, 60, and 150. So very, very clean radios. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook it up and show you uh, the receiver. All right, here's the receive coming in right where these normally come in at about negative 110 all right see it there 11 and change just went to 10 there for a second uh, I'll let you hear that coming in fine take it to side band okay and I gotta turn my volume up Like sideband is going to be a 124 area. Okay, 124 and right there. Did you hear that? No problem. Take it down some more. There's 130, 137. You definitely don't have sensitivity issues. So, should be all good to go, my man. Let's yeah, see if we get a little over the air test here. Of course, there's no uh, skip coming in right now. One nine. Can I get a radio check out there? That uh, radio is working. Uh, loud and clear for that radio check. Yeah, loud and clear. Copy that. Uh, appreciate it. Audio sounds good, though? Yeah, you sound good, truck driver, man. Okay, I appreciate it. Yeah, you're coming in good here, too. You have yourself a safe one. We'll catch you later. Eagle vendor zero, Got some skip coming in here. I'm not going to get out through there because I don't, I'm not running any power or anything, but it uh, seems like it's coming in fine, audio on sideband, uh, fine for a Lincoln 2 Plus at least. All right, thank you much. We'll get this one headed back to you. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Radio Garage, we're off the key.